Planning Board of the Town of Sandwich hereby gives notice that we'll hold a public hearing on proposed amendments to the Sandwich Protective Zoning Bylaw, uh, September 19th at 7 o'clock at the Town Hall Auditorium. Proposed amendments, uh, adoption of a municipal reuse overlay district for the purpose of providing for the reuse of properties which no longer serve their originally intended municipal use. Specifically, the proposed amendment provides for certain by right and specially permitted uses of property satisfying specified criteria. The land to be included in the proposed overlay district is shown on a map entitled Municipal Reuse Overlay District, prepared by the Town of Sandwich and dated August 3rd, 2017. Full text of the proposed zoning amendments and the plan, along with the current protective zoning bylaw and current zoning map, may be viewed in the following ways. Request a PDF from the Office of Planning and Development. Visit the Office of Planning and Development at 16 Jan Sebastian Drive or call if other accommodations are needed. This was uh, published at the Sandwich Enterprise on September 1st and September 8th. Very good, thank you. So we have a presentation. Yes. Are you ready to go? I am ready. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, thanks everyone for attending tonight. So I just want to spend a few minutes, hopefully no more than five, just walking everyone through the overlay um, and, and kind of get a, a baseline understanding of it prior to opening up this uh, as a public hearing. Everybody can hear me okay, yeah. So please hold your questions and comments until the public, he public hearing starts, which will be right after we're done getting through the slides here. Um, so here's what we're going to cover. We're going to talk about the purpose of this hearing. We're going to look at the overlay. We're going to discuss the overall process, meaning where, where we're starting tonight and where this potentially goes in the future, uh, as well as the timing around that. We're going to talk about what the current zoning is, <clears throat> what the proposed, proposed zoning is. We're going to do a visual <coughs> voice worked well all day today. Visual orientation of the property, and I know there are handouts in the back of the room, so if you haven't picked them up yet, it might be worthwhile to pick uh, those up. And then we'll open the floor up for a public hearing. Okay. So the purpose of this meeting is to just establish a baseline understanding of the overlay, the potential impact in the overall process, and to conduct a public hearing. Uh, the outcomes after this public hearing is the planning board can vote to recommend the overlay pass as presented, recommend the overlay pass with modifications, or recommend the overlay not pass. So this is the overall process if the property is developed, and that's a heavy caveat there, which is, you know, there's the overlay would basically provides our town with many options, our board of selectmen with options of what they can do with the land beyond what it's currently used for. Uh, so the, tonight is just the first step. We're having a public hearing, and uh, we'll make a recommendation on the overlay, which would then kick into the next step in the process. So, you know, when you look at this, the next step in the process, we have a, a you know, a town meeting would have to be, uh, it would have to make it onto a town warrant. There'd have to be a two thirds of majority to approve the zoning change. It would then go to the attorney general. And I don't want to read every line for you. You could see that and it's also in your handout. But, um, you know, keep in mind this process here, I believe this is a roughly a three year process. It's going to take time to get through all this. So the sooner we start this, the better. The school is currently uh, leased for three years, so it kind of aligns itself with when potentially the school lease is up. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Um, so, so, you know, keep in mind, no property can be sold without the town, you know, the, the residents voting for that property to be sold. So all we're talking about tonight is the overlay to give the, the uh, Board of Selectmen options. Uh, also keep in mind the Board of Selectmen today can't commit Board of Selectmen in the future to a specific course of action. So it's up to us as residents to make sure that what we want out of this is, is what happens by holding our elected officials, including myself and everyone else here, you know, accountable to what this, uh, what we want as part of the town. So I just took 8100 and I said, let me just see if I can state this a little more clearly. I often have a hard time when I read these understanding what, what specifically it means. So I tried to boil it down into just a couple sentences. Um, so 8100, which I know uh, Sarah read it into the record, is basically when we have municipal property or buildings that no longer suit our needs, we have to look at other uses. This overlay provides our town with options for how we can potentially use the property. Okay, so currently it's one lot, one huge lot zoned R1, uh, which is residential and, and, you know, it's a school at this point. So proposed 
I don't want to recreate everything in the handout so you could see what those proposals actually mean in that handout uh, that you picked up on the way in. So by right, basically means you don't need a special permit. You just go and, and you say, uh, you know, we're going to do municipal, we're going to do residential. There's no additional approvals required once we get to that point in the process and if that's the decision that the Board of Selectmen makes. Um, by special permit, uh, so, so basically refer to 8133 in the handout, uh, there's a whole bunch of likely uses uh, and that potentially the property can, can be used for. And it's most likely it's going to be a combination of, you know, municipal, residential, and, and you know, uh, whatever else the town deems to be uh, best use for that property. And it would also have to conform with our, pretty much our existing zoning law, so that it's not adding any additional height to buildings, any additional uh, setbacks. So, so whatever zoning uh, ends up on that property is going to be consistent with what we're used to in Sandwich, um, in, in the town, whether it be building height or, or footprint, permeable areas and all. Let's see. Okay, so just to orient with the property, and I didn't realize these color handouts were going to be here. Um, so, so if you want to just, you know, if we look at the property here, it's, it's basically, uh, I wish I had a pointer, I don't. So, so refer to your handout. Do you have a pointer? Oh, Doug, you're the best, thanks. Thank you. Good. So, so, so based, if you look here, this is a residential property, okay? This here, there's, we, we have leach fields here, we have leach fields up in this area here. The overlay would basically give the ability to protect approximately 21 acres of property here, which would include all the ball fields and the major parking areas. Uh, the parking area that would be impacted is the ones in front of the building, which is approximately, I didn't get an exact count, but it's somewhere between 30 and 35 parking spots. So, so the loss of parking for the town is fairly minimal with the plan. Um, you know, the town did do a... Uh, uh, you know, focus groups and surveys and all to come up with some various options um, for this. But again, until we get an overlay, it's, you can't even pursue any of these, these options. Um, so, let's see. So hopefully that helped everybody understand kind of what we're looking at here um, and what we'll be uh, talking about tonight in terms of, uh, of the public hearing. So at this point, we're ready for the public hearing. If you could just uh, state your name and address clearly when you come up. Five minutes per speaker. If you have a follow-up, please limit it to two. There's not a tremendous number of people here, so I don't think it's going to be an issue with, uh, you know, with talking. So, so the um, comments focus on the zoning overlay, not on the future use. And what that means is, you know, uh, if, if you have issues around proposed uses or potential uses, things that are listed in the special permit, you know, I think it's important for us to hear that, what the issues are and, and why you may or may not want those, or why you may not want those. Or, or So we don't want to get into all the potential possibilities of the land because that's really not our role. Our role is to, is to put the zoning overlay uh, out for public hearing and what options will be chosen will be done by the Board of Selectmen uh, in the future. Uh, last to speak for yourself, or another one, speak for yourself, not for others. What that means is, um, you know, I can think I know what is going to impact the people that abut the property, but really only the people that abut the property uh, would know how it's going to impact them because it, it impacts them. So when you speak, try to speak for yourself, how it impacts you, not for how you think it may impact others. Um, and then avoid repeating comments already made by previous speakers, just so we can give everyone an opportunity to speak. Any? Well, I, I just wanted to make one point that there is going to be one more public um, hearing on this subject as well. This, is, this isn't the only 